All right, uh, let's look at the ratio test. All right, uh, we remember that the geometric series, uh, geometric series is convergent uh, when the absolute value of R is less than one, right? And otherwise it's gonna diverge, All right? We're mim mimicking this idea. Uh, the R is the value, I is the ratio between two consecutive terms of uh, geometric series. So what we're gonna do is for the ratio test, that we're gonna use the similar idea. Uh, we're gonna take the uh, ratio between two consecutive terms, uh, in this case, uh, A n plus one, over n, then take the absolute value. Then we're going to take the limit of that as n approaches infinity because we want to, if you're interested in the convergence, divergence of uh, a series, you are interested in the, the, the later terms. Uh, the, the terms in the beginning doesn't really make any difference, but the terms uh, toward the end is going to make a big difference. All right, so that's why we're taking a limit. All right. So uh, as uh, si uh, similar to a geometric series, if this ratio between two consecutive terms is uh, less than one, then we know that uh, the summation, actually summation with the even with the absolute value sign, converges. All right. Then uh, if limit actually came out to be exactly equal to one, this is a sort of, sort of an unfortunate case. And uh, this one is actually inconclusive. It could uh, converge, it could diverge. Um, so it depending on the problem. So if you get a one out of this uh, ratio test, uh, then uh, we have to use a different test uh, to make a conclusion, right? And then if um, uh, this limit came out to be greater than one, then we can conclude that the series is divergent. All right? So that's the ratio test. All right? So let's follow, uh, use the ratio test to uh, uh, determine uh, the following series is either convergent or divergent. All right? So we have this uh, first one, uh, summation n goes, n goes from zero to uh, infinity and e to the n over square root of n factorial, All right? So uh, let's do that. All right, so we need to, so this is gonna be our a, a n. So this is gonna be our a n, All right? So let's find the uh, limit of, so you have a limit, All right? Uh, n approaches infinity of absolute value of uh, a n plus one, over a n. All right, so this is going to be a limit as n approaches infinity, the absolute value, All right? So we have to find the a n plus one, All right? So all we have to do is every time you see n, we put n plus one instead. So you have a e to the uh, n plus one over square root of uh, n plus 1 factorial, all right? Then we just have to divide by a n. We know what the a n is. Um, I, instead of dividing, I'm going to multiply by its reciprocal, so I'm just going to put the a n upside down. So we're going to have a square root of uh, n factorial and over uh, e, to, e to the n, all right? So we got that. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of cancellation here. So you have e to the n here. So you have a one extra e on top. So I'm gonna just uh, scratch that. Cancel with uh, everything but the uh, one e. So e stays there. All right, so e is just a number. So I'm gonna pull it out of the um, uh, limit. So I'm going to just uh, pull this e outside. It's also positive, so we don't need to worry about the taking the absolute value sign. So absolute value, so e, right? Then we have a limit as n approaches infinity, right? So there's going to be a little bit more cancellation uh, because uh, if you put uh, both of these uh, n factorial and n plus one factorial under the same uh, square root, so you have a square root here, right? All right, so in this case, I can uh, remove the absolute value sign because uh, none of them is negative, right? So you have uh, n factorial here, right? 
and n plus 1 factorial is really the same thing as n plus 1 times n factorial, right? So we can cancel n factorial on top, n factorial on the bottom, so you have uh, uh, 1 left on top here, right? But as n approaches infinity, um, n plus 1 approaches infinity. So, but uh, you have an infinity on the bottom, 1 on top, it's going to go to 0. So you can see that uh, uh, this is going to be e times, limit of that is going to go square root of 0, which is 0, right? Which gives you 0, and which is definitely less than 1, right? which indicates that, that this um, uh, series is going to be convergent, right? So that's the conclusion, right? So that's how you use the um, um, uh, ratio test, right? So let's look at another example, right? We have a summation n goes from 1 to infinity, 2 to the n over n cubed, right? So again, uh, this is going to be our a n. Then we're going to uh, take the limit as n approaches infinity of absolute value of a n plus 1 over a n, which is going to be a uh, limit as n approaches infinity, absolute value of, okay, a n AN plus 1 would be 2 to the n plus 1 over uh, n plus 1 cubed, right? Divide by a n, so I'm going to take the reciprocal. So you have uh, n cubed on top. Then you have a 2 to the n, right? So we have that. All right, so let's do a cancellation. It's very similar as before, all right? So we're going to do a cancellation. 2 to the n cancel with the 2 to the n plus 1. So I'm going to just to scratch that. Then you're going to have a 2 here. So 2 is just a constant. I'm going to put it outside here. Right? So we're going to have uh, 2 is outside. Then you have a limit as n approaches infinity. Right? Both of these guys have a cube. So I'm going to make a big parentheses cubed. But on top you have n. And on the bottom you have a n plus 1. All right, then you can see that uh, if you take the limit of n over n plus 1, and uh, we can, let's say, easiest way to look at it, it would be we can, uh, let's say, um, uh, multiply top by 1 over n, and multiply bottom by 1 over n. So you can easily see that this is going to be 2 times natural log of, uh, not the natural log limit, n approaches infinity. All right, so let's see, um, we have um, parenthesis cubed, so let's uh, write that down first. All right, oops, um, no, it's uh, here, All right? Then here, uh, n divided by n is 1, 1, and then you have a n divided by n is 1, and a n is by n, sorry, it's kind of, I don't know what's uh, going on here, here. All right, then as n approaches infinity, we know that the, this guy approaches 0. So what's left is 1 over 1. So it's going to be a 1 over 1 cubed is going to be 1. So this is going to be uh, 2 times 1, which is 2, which is greater than 1, tells you that this is going to be divergent according to the uh, ratio test. All right, so that's how... Uh, we can use um, ratio test to determine the convergence of a given series. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.